Today, we are ranking the full team of the season, Bundesliga, both the men and the women. And as an early spoiler, it's going to be controversial. As per usual, we have broken rank one foot champs debatable in the pine. This should get interesting. We're going to make it spicy. Adiemi, one of the fastest players I've ever seen play the game in person, live and in demand. I packed him, I player picked him. You likely did the same, and I was impressed. He went above and beyond. As for some of these other options, the debatable is about to become your best friend because I don't know that I buy into the stats. A lot of the players don't really make it into a rotational. I was a little disappointed. I'm just gonna leave that here. Nicole, same situation. And at this point of the game, and there are exceptions, but generally speaking, you wanna have at least a five-star weak foot or a five-star skill moves. Bonus helping if you get a little bit of both. Anton also joining the debate. Mr. Nicholas, I am leaning upwards. I like his play styles. I feel that a lot of the pass and move is cool. He's got that five-star weak foot, but he's one of those players that went from a silver to all of a sudden being a team of the season addition. So, so maybe I'm reaching. Maximilian, love the name. Still going into the debate. I swear this item has no curvature, no strength, no aggression, no curve. No free kick accuracy, which I'm not saying all of this is that important, but often when you get these massive upgrades, if you see greens everywhere and then a few random stat lines that are extra low, I question plenty of the improvements. And I'm telling you with team of the season in particular, half the players have some fraudulent activity. Every single release. Big body bona face for the weekend. You gotta be able to whip in them crosses, some delivery, but he could be problematic. Not taking that away from him. I'm not sure I'm a full-on believer, but she has a cheap SBC. Gonna cost you next to nothing. Komen is overrated. I'm still putting him in the weekend, but I want on the record overrated. I picked this item up. I paid the bill and I got nothing. Davies, probably early broken activity there. What you gonna do with it? Come on. Alfonso Davies with quite a track record just scored a fantastic goal, which didn't lead to the result for Bayern Munich. Dunst into the middies debatable maybe we should get rid of the pine i don't know if i'm giving out a bunch of pine i could if anything she might be the first one into the pine if you're new don't go anywhere end of the video we review there's a lot of final movements that will be no different today from pong shout out to buyer leverkusen we made a video on the second channel the entire story the revolution of shabby alonso they have been fantastic this year to broken not doing goalkeepers that are undersized it, it just hasn't worked goretzka even with all the 90s i don't believe that he's in that broken category i get the stats i can read them off the page i understand his body type I, I get his influence his presence he's still fantastic i just believe there needs to be a margin i don't know that he's as meta something feels like it's missing just a tad bit for me but he's still consistent reliable has continuity if you're looking for more of a holding mid i still don't believe him scoring a bunch of goals or helping you with some of that final stage dribbling even with the upgraded numbers Grimaldo, broken. I love Grimaldo this year. What a man. What an item. What a player. Best fullback combo in Europe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Leaning him into the weekend. I don't think he's going to push past that. I packed this lovely center back. The pace is real. He's got a 91. And his movement side to side, all good money. Harry Kane. Now with a technical for a play style plus. That helps the dribbling a lot. Big body type finishes for breakfast for lunch for dinner he's still not going to crush the game with some of the skills and that that form of execution we might need another category but I, I wouldn't feel right if we didn't have him broken and then potentially there's even an upper echelon i think there's levels Koble was good money i packed him used him over the weekend enjoyed that kowalski should be better the stats suggest she should be better I thought these fullbacks were not real at all. And there's a couple of them for the women's end. I didn't like them. I see the stats. I didn't think it worked. Here we go. We're going to put her there as well. I played legit, I think, three or four games with both of them and said, no, this does not work. They're not competitive. They don't feel better than the players I have in those positions. Malin, off the GP, off the respect. Musiala, broken. See, I would even prefer Musiala to the likes of having a Harry Kane, even though they're different positions. The dribbling is just so elite. Might be the best dribbler we have in the game. From all the midfielders, he clearly holds it down. Quick turning, recycle, resurface, spins, and a left stick, and R1. And we've always talked about how good he is with technical. It's kind of ridiculous. Oberdorf I like. 
I think she can get herself into rank one. She'll probably surprise you. Openda, sweaty as can be, also going rank one. If you'd like to try out a new striker, she has a solid base and combination with the play style plus. Quick step, press proven, which is sort of slept on, and power shot, which I've always liked. And I'm even enjoying it more as the game's gone on, even whether you're using it for cancellations or just the pure sped up execution of the power shot. Palacios is cool, might be a little overrated. Most of these players should be weekend league certified. Pop, yes ma'am, will take her to rank one. Marco Royce to rank one. I love that he's almost always gotten upgrades. A legend for Dortmund without a doubt. Probably a legend in the FIFA scene. There's been a decade straight of him receiving different upgrades and promos and items that have been influential across multiple iterations and multiple titles. Sancho, good enough for the weekend, but not game changing. I wanted more. I thought Sané, for example, was more influential, a little more disruptive in your face. You felt Sané pushing a certain agenda. Slaughterbeck would recommend. Solid play styles as well. I believe he has Jockey and Anticipate as two of the three. Perfect for defenders. Lee is not crazy, but deserves to be in foot champs. This brand new Silas, yep. Go ahead and knock that out. Danny Aarons would be proud of flashback. That's gonna give you some activity. Five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, plenty of the right assignments, characteristics, skill sets. Quick Step, Trickster, and Travella. We're not mad about that. If you need a new center back, weekend league approved, Shabby Simmons. The man's got a lot of hype representing good old Leipzig. I, I would put him into the, the weekend league. Maybe you could debate for him to go up. It's possible. He's got that technical and it's crazy with the dribbling. Stanway, loved her 93, also supporting the 94. Ta, I've been using him. He's relatively cheap, big body type. He's competitive with a lot of the, the, the solid center back options. I've used him in front of some different icons that I have in the club and he's been at the same tier, same level. If you have a bigger budget, if you're ready to have a heavier spend and some bigger pocketbooks, you could you can make upgrades here. Tap Soba is getting unwarranted hate. I just think that he's one of the players that is so packable or player pickable. He just is on a regularity. I see him in everything. Upu Mikanu, put him into rank one. Yes, sir. I'm not sure what to do here. 5'8 center back. She does have anticipate, which I don't want to say is mandatory, but it is such a nice helper. It's a big plus for defenders. I don't like undersized, not extremely physical center backs. I, I, I need a little more of a presence. Verts to the top has to be broken. Again, the way that he's dribbling, if you've used or gone up against this verts item, I know what's coming. I'm not always stopping it. It has not been fun. Turn and burn in full effect. Shaka, I'm going to put him for the weekend. Again, part of that Bayer Leverkusen and slotted right into the starting 11. Shaka's more of a holding mid, maybe some box to box. I'm just going to leave that disclaimer here. Shall we reveal? So when it comes down to the pine, I don't need to move them. The hot take might be on the fullbacks. That's okay. Kowalski, in many ways, I believe is a fraud, but I still am holding on to her being in the debate. I'm okay with this reduction here. Maximilian, just for the name, we'll leave him up. Tap Soba, I'm telling you, should be in the debate. All right, we'll leave that alone. Foot champs, let's move upwards. Many of you will say Coleman needs to move. If anything, I'm looking at Shabby Simmons as potentially going up a notch. I'm going to bring Palacios into the debatable zone. I want more. I'm also going to take this lovely individual down to debatable. As much as I gave him a fun review, I still believe the macro, the masses will say, I like him a lot. I didn't feel anything. I'm telling you, this team of the season was the reminder. Premier League, not so much. I felt like there was more authenticity across the board, even with the live items. Bundesliga's got some players that just don't feel as if they received the upgrade or the upgrades don't feel genuine. That's all I'm saying. In theory, most should be at least foot champs. If I have Adeyemi, I think Simmons has to go up. I think so. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I want to have that extra degree. I think I'm going to give us one more. We're going to call this extra broken. For Bundesliga team of the season, it's not as important as some of the previous videos I've made where we needed this lane. Frimpong is going in. Musiala is going in. For yours truly, Verts I think, goes in. I might leave Kane alone. Nah, maybe I'll take Verts down. Maybe I just need to be better with this group. I love Grimaldo. Grimaldo is my type of individual. Shavi Simmons is going up. We're going to put him into rank one again with the dribbling. It's phenomenal. 
when you look at this, there's not really a bunch of players that should make an argument. Plenty of you will go on board and get on the record and talk about Goretzka being unbroken. I can hear your case. Openda's been sweaty as ever. I still don't think he gets out of rank one. I still think that's the spot. And then when you're looking at broken, Frimpong, Musiala, Grimaldo, Davies, Kane, Verts. That's where we're leaving off. Whether you agree or you disagree, let your voice be heard in the comment section. And as always, I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.